Hello, Leo. Welcome back to the channel. I hope all is well. <clears throat> Let's get into your reading. Let's see what's going on with you. We're going to start off with some uh, tea leaf messages for you. You got quite a few that came out. All right. So you got yoke, which talks about feeling tied down and frustrated. You have throne position of authority so you know you're getting some type of upgrade but it comes with responsibilities and now you like uh i don't know if i really want all of this maybe you were thinking about the good side of success but not thinking about the other stuff that come with it that can be annoying you know and you got cat a two-faced friend uh with success comes jealousy what else is new you have Tiger here doing something risky, taking a chance, and it looks like it's paying off in ways you don't even know or realize. Bird flying news on the way. And Seahorse, family matters. So, um, you know, something may be going in a really positive direction for a lot of you guys, and it's going to bring out the true feelings of how people around you that are close to you, and maybe some not so close, but close enough, how they feel about you that's just what's coming out and it's a growth period this is growing pains um a hell of a transformation just after going through a transformation but that is what life is about it just shows that you're still growing you got some good news that's going to make you feel good and give you confirmation that something is going in the right direction that is favorable for you obviously but it's going to bring out jealousy and envy and frustrations and others and you may be finding yourself in a place in life where you're happy for this blessing this upgrade this opportunity or whatever it is but still adjusting to this new role that comes with whatever this blessing or this leadership role is and then on the other hand in your personal life is like you seeing the truth like how people really feel about you now that you've leveled up or are just in a happier you know place in life and it could be friends it's friends for sure but it also could be family too well let's get into the tarot something's telling me to use a soul's journey oracle card give me one second and I know I look like I'm getting ready to punch a punching bag or something, but I'm just trying to stay warm. I'm a little under the weather. Yeah. Growth. Transformation. It's giving the same energy. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness, and you have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Your intuition will be on point at this time. Do not deny it. Don't reject it. You just got to trust what you're feeling because these intuitive nudges is what's keeping you in the loop on what's going on around you, whether good or bad. And, you know, you may not like some of the things that your intuition forces you to face and accept with the people around you, even with yourself, because you may not even want to cut somebody off or handle someone in a way that you're being forced to handle them. But you got to do it for yourself. All right. You got the two of swords and the eight of wands strategizing for a fast outcome or for something to come or complete rather sooner or later. And you got the moon here. So this may not be you. This may be someone else or this could be the universe telling you to, you know, not show your hand, keep certain things and certain plans and goals and, you know, secrets to yourself, especially when it comes to love and business. Some of you guys may be moving or starting something online that you must protect with silence and trust in your intuition. You will get a you'll get ahead a lot quicker keeping things to yourself. On the other hand, somebody could be strategizing on how to come towards you and keeping another person in the dark about it to protect whatever plans they have with you. Yep, somebody is. You're guarding an opportunity elsewhere, or you're being advised to. You're being advised to also guide your, guard yourself too, to some degree. But what's going on around you, it looks like another person is guarding 
a potential connection with you or relationship with you by keeping someone else unaware of their intentions with you. Now, I need to know what that is about. Clarify this lovers. The Ace of Swords. Huh. So it's just going to be a secret for now until they feel safe enough to come out with it. Because there will be communication. And this communication makes somebody feel victorious. You are somebody's choice in a situation. Is Who is this? Is this new or old? Nah, this ain't nobody new. This is somebody old. You got the Three of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Hermit. Be for real. So, okay. So... With the career things, you could either be uh, coming an entrepreneur or leaving one job to go to another or leaving a company to start your own company. But it looks like you have choices, you know, whether it be love or career. But I feel like this is more so focused on career and keeping certain things to yourself and learning how to trust your intuition on your next path. This could involve you traveling or moving from one place to another too. Definitely moving from one stage in life to another also. But from a material standpoint, as well as what's going on around you, you got other people plotting to like come back into your life and keeping their desires for you a secret because they're involved with someone else. This could also be you, on the other hand, uh, keeping some things a secret at work until you know you're in a safe place with your next move before you give your two weeks notice or you know say whatever you have going on or, or whatever you choose to say at work but from a love perspective this is somebody that more than likely you ghosted or they ghosted other either way it ended you guys have been silent for a minute and somebody don't want to be silent anymore they feel that you care about them just as much as they care about you with the two of cups being here and this can still be worked out with the three of pentacles to a degree where you guys can reconcile but they know they have an understanding that they got to get rid of somebody else they have an understanding that they got to get rid of somebody else and it's like they might have ghost you for this person and now they're getting ready to ghost this person for you and you look like you're doing way better than where they were with whoever they were with and they don't mind like being completely honest with this person I don't see them keeping this third party a secret. You know, like I see them keeping you a secret from the third party because they may use this third party as an ace in a hole in case you reject them. But in the event you accept them and you reconcile, then they'll come clean with the third party because they don't need them no more. They're just going to dispose them. That's crazy. Tell me about this ace of swords. The seven of wands, they're protecting it. So they're going to block this third party after being honest with them, after they know for sure that you're going to take them back. And, 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 and they're expecting you guys to just ride off in the sunset, huh? Why, why is the hermit here? Mm, mm, mm. Nine of Cups in reverse. Grass wasn't greener and a Six of Cups. Missing the hell out of you. That's what this was. So somebody feels stupid. It's, it's crazy how you just completely took your energy off something and remained silent. Let the universe guide you to other opportunities and now somebody realizing they made a bad choice and the person that they put on a pedestal to diss you for is the person that they're discarding just to get back with you. That is crazy. This seems like it's more so related to that last reading I did to some degree. Because the energy that I picked up with that last reading was very, is coming from a very selfish person. This can be a fixed sign, another Leo. A Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio. I got Pisces and Cancer here too and Capricorn. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> In 
Anybody new? What about the single Leos? Like anybody else? Nobody had time for me. <sighs> Looks like somebody's observing you from a distance and manifesting you. You have the Prince of Swords. I mean, the Princess of Swords and the Magician. Somebody um, is manifesting you. That's new. They know you, but you don't know them. I don't think you do, because they're they're giving the. They got the Spy card and the Magician. So, why is the Magician here? The Six of Pentacles. They feel like they deserve somebody like you. They feel like it would be more of a fair exchange between you two. So they've been watching you and studying you long enough to make some type of analysis with you. Is this What has this person been seeing as they spy on Leo? This could be a Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, or Aquarius. Justice. They feel like they deserve somebody like you. They think you're fair too. And they feel like you're emotionally stable. This person been observing you for a minute. Libra, Scorpio, Aquarius, Virgo, Gemini, Taurus. They've been observing you for a minute. Are they coming towards a Leo? Seven of Pentacles and Temperance. Nope, they're going to wait a little bit. Why is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse? Mm. Ah. Because they feel like they don't have enough for you. They showing up as the Prince of Pentacles, clarifying the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. It's like they don't know if they're good enough or if you're going to feel like they're worth your time or something like that. <laughs> That's crazy. So I guess they're going to continue to spy, manifest, and daydream about you. I, I don't know. Okay. What can you tell me about Leo finances? Uh, one more shuffle. Looks like you manifesting money or getting help with a job. You may be moving for work, but wherever you move to for work, the job you'll like better. It's more stable. Some of you guys are starting your own spiritual based business where you'll be abundant over time. And this involves traveling and over time, the money will come easier and easier. It's just like setting your foundation and your blueprint first, and then it build up from there. All right. That's what I have. What message? What closing message does uh, Leo need to know? You got the Queen of Swords, and this talks about ritual and ceremony can acquire all treasures of heaven and in earth. So have you guys been doing angel magic or doing like psalm magic or saying like certain prayers and scriptures out of the Bible to manifest something? If not, it's I mean, if not, you should, because if you are, it's working. And you also have the Seven of Pentacles, which talks about discernment, general prosperity and deliverance of prisoners. So. You're setting yourself free that's going to guide you towards places and opportunities that will give you money or give you stability. And uh, some of you will be famous or known for something with the star showing up and some type of attack in court. Potentially, you're being protected from, but you should still talk to a lawyer as I am not giving you legal advice. And you also had a six of pentacles. God is giving you grace or the universe is giving you grace for something that you might have snapped on someone over like this card talks about you being cured from rage and like pestilent energy you got to be careful who you have around you because they may bring out your lower side you know you could be channeling and picking up energy from 
what other people are going through and all of a sudden feel like you're irritated and yeah be careful with that you got the three of cups this talks about fame and renown influences commerce voyages and great discoveries so your creativity is going to bring a lot of success for you and the universe and the angels are helping you do something that makes you step out of the box or stand out and not blend in so much and like and do what everybody else is doing you have the page of swords refuge uh governs dreams and reveals mysteries and hidden that are hidden from morals why i can't read okay it says refuge governs governs dreams and reveals mysteries hidden from mortals so you guys are astro projecting or having some very intense dreams that are more so like revelations and prophecies on what's to come with you and what's coming towards you or something like that you know things that people around you or the average joe or jane don't know and uh you should keep your relationship with the universe intact because they're going to continue to drop golden nuggets of wisdom and share with you direction on where where to go who to go with and things like that they're going to guide you in the right way for sure you just got to continue to stay open up to it and everything will fall in place but some of you guys are meant to be very successful in something that is a, a competitive field but what's going to make you so different is you do things a little different than everybody else creativity stepping out on faith and I feel, I feel like you stepping into your purpose is just bringing in a lot of realization moments and karma to people that may have underestimated you in the past, okay? Now, give me a kiss, okay, with your wonderful ass. Mwah. You get an anointed kiss, honey. You get a kiss from the Lord, okay? <laughs> I don't know. It's the man's. I'm goofy. Okay, I love y'all. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs> Kids from the Lord. <laughs>